a very good morning to everyone. We are the group Infinity from Coda Engineering Matriculation College. Today, we are going to introduce a game named Peter. First and foremost, Peter Game is a digital game developed and designed to integrate games and concepts of physics digitally to help Generation Z students to improve and master their physics concept in terms of SI prefixes and at the same time improve teaching approaches and strategies. The reason why this game is innovative is that there are many students who often make mistakes while changing SI prefixes as they are unable to distinguish values and symbols correctly. And by playing this game, we can actually help students to learn and memorize SI prefixes creatively and interactively. To begin with, there are four sets of different class symbols on the card, which are lightning, moon, star, and leaf. And there are 13 cards for each card symbol, namely Terra, Giga, Mega, Kilo, Hecto, Deca, Desi, Centi, Mili, Micro, Nano, Pico, and Femto. Here's a summary on how to deal with the cards in the P-Card game. First and foremost, you have to click the stock on the upper left to turn over cards onto the waste pile. Then, you have to drag cards to move them between the waste pile, the seven deck at the bottom and the four foundation at the upper right. To be able to complete the four suits of cards, players have to move some cards around. The cards can move in the game in three ways. Firstly, the cards can be moved among the seven decks. Player can move face up cards among the seven piles, placing a smaller rank card below a card with one rank higher with a different color. When one of the seven piles become empty, only a third card can be placed in the open space first. More consecutive cards can be added below the third card when required. The top card of the foundation pile can be moved back to one of the seven piles below if needed. If no more move can be made from the pile of the deck of cards, then the game is lost. Cards on the foundation need to be stacked by the same suit from Femto to Terra. Cards on the 7 pound need to be stacked by alternating color from highest value Terra to lowest value Femto. Empty spot on the piling can be filled with Terra of any suit. There are 3 buttons on top of the card, which is Guide button to see the SI prefixes table if the player cannot remember the sequence. Reset button to start over the game and quick button to end game. To win the game of P card, you have to create foundation piles of each suite. You set the foundation by placing aces of each suite in four separate places of slots above the seven decks. You then have to complete each suite by placing consecutive cards on top of the phantom. For example, place 2 of star symbol on phantom of star symbol, 2 of moon symbol on phantom of moon symbol, 3 of moon symbol on 2 of moon symbol and so on until you have each suite completed. In a nutshell, PCAT game can definitely help to improve students' understanding in converting SI prefixes while solving physics problems and students can learn physics in a more relaxing and exciting environment. That's all from us. Thank you for your attention. To be honest, in the show me I was so good at memorizing SI debates as I depended a lot on the calculator while doing related questions. However, after playing the card game, I noticed a lot of changes and improvements because the game helped me master my concepts better and I also grew more proficient while converting SI debates. It is definitely a beneficial game that should be recommended to people from all walks of life, especially to students who are in debates. Hi everyone, I'm Ng Chin Le from Kedam Engineering Matriculation College. Picard games help me to spend my time well. At the same time, this game also helps me to improve my cognitive skills and I'm now more confident when converting SI prefix. It's a norm that students have problems studying physics because there are many formulas, symbols, principles and facts to remember when solving physics problems in exams. So this game can help students to minimize their mistakes while changing SI prefix to solve physics problems because they can distinguish values and symbols correctly and precisely.